Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Phoebe and in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you guys everything that I have on Bloxburg. So all the plots that I have saved. There are a couple that I've deleted and I really wish I can go back in time and save it. There's one that I wish I can go back to but I deleted it. But if you guys don't remember when I first started my YouTube I made like a little um, street plot. I'll show you guys what I mean. But I made that and I really wish I still kept it. By the time obviously it's very expensive to keep getting new plots so I deleted it and and I started making my town. But I'm very excited to show you guys everything that I actually have on Bloxburg. So to begin this video, we are now going to start at the house that Amber made me. So Amber made this house for me. If you guys don't remember, let me go outside and I'll show you guys exactly what everything looks like. But this is what the house looks like. Obviously, I did change some things. I lived in this house for ages. But this is what this house looks like. I still keep it. I don't think I could ever delete it because Amber made it for me. And I feel like that would be kind of disrespectful. But yeah, I started putting some of the fan art around here. Even upstairs, this is where most of the fan art are. And yeah, I just couldn't delete this. It's such a cute little house. Oh my gosh, what have I put in here? Oh, there's a big decal in here. Okay, that is why I moved out. But some of you guys are really sad when I moved from this house to my new house, but I still really love this house. It's still gorgeous. I used to see like it looks like it has been moved out too. I was taking some of like Poppy's stuff, the clothes, everything's pretty empty in here, but I still keep it. I just think it looks really cute. Still got the upstairs. It's almost like someone is still living here. I mean, they could be. I have no idea. I could be walking into someone's house right now. What if this house was sold? But yeah, so many memories in this house. It feels weird actually being in it. Especially because Buddy's here now. Buddy would have never ever lived here. So it's all new to him. But yeah, this is what this side looks like. I still got the outside. I still got my secret um, waterfall. If you guys didn't know, I had a little secret door in here. But I think I deleted everything that was in there. You look... <gasps> This would be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, I could have. I was gonna say I could put a secret door there, a bookshelf, but I think that'd be weird putting a bookshelf next to a pool. So actually, maybe that wouldn't work. But this is the first plot that I have on Bloxburg. It's at the top of them. So now we can actually move on to the next one. Okay, so here is my list of everything that I have. February is the house that Amber made. I haven't actually clicked through all of these yet, so I'm excited to see what some of these are. But next is concert. So I think I made this maybe last year. I'm not too sure now actually, but let's go ahead and click on this and see what that looks like. But I think I made it for when I was trying to make Coachella, <laughs> so you can still use it for next year. Okay, so I'm now on my concert and the house value is 472899 I just remembered I didn't show the other one, so I'll quickly put a screenshot of what the first house was. I think it's kind of cool to show all the house values I have. Just how much money was spent into all of this. I could sell all of this and get so much money. I have 47000 right now. I could get like times that by like a hundred, no, hundred times that by ten. Yes, that's right. Then you go to build mode because it's a bit dark right now. But this is the concert that we created, what well, I created. But I usually role played here quite a lot with Rich and Amber when we went and went to go to Coachella. So I've got some of the posters around here. But I think having a concert is kind of cool because I can still kind of use this for many other things, which is why I kept it. There are some other ones that I deleted, but with a concert, I think I could always come back to this and always be like, oh, like going to see Selena Gomez at <laughs> a concert. So I thought I could always keep this. But yeah, things are pretty similar over here. I still use the Nutcrackers as the security guards. And then we also have a little secret passage. Um, so this is where the stars would go. And then if they wanted to quickly escape, they'd go down this route down here. And then this used to take them straight outside here. And then I used to put like a limo right outside. <laughs> so yeah, they a little secret passage. But this is what it looks like. I still have like my little merch stand up here, which I was really happy with. This is where you buy some of the merch. We've got some tents, which some people, they stay like around because sometimes like Coachella goes on for a couple of days. We've got the emergency room for some people in case they hurt themselves. And then we also have just a little like restaurant menu thing. And then we have a popcorn stand. So yeah, I guess this is pretty basic, but this is the concert. This is what everything looks like. But yeah, you guys can let me know if I can ever use like some of these plots again in a video because I would like to use some of these. Okay, and then next up we have Berryville, which is my town. I created this quite early on. I think I created it last year just before... Christmas or Halloween. It was one of those. So I created this quite quickly. This is like my little baby, this town. I think for my first ever creation, like I showed you guys earlier when I made the street, this was basically just a town version of that, which is why I kind of deleted it. But I kind of wish I had it now to see how similar it was because that is where I got the salon from. So this beauty parlor was actually in the first street. So this is like an OG. 
But Berryville still has its Halloween decorations. They still think it's Halloween yet. Yeah. I've got to take all this down. I've, I'm, I'm dreading it. I do not want to get rid of all these decorations. There's too many. Look at all these pumpkins and the lights. Oh, someone, can one of you guys do it for me, please? I'll pay you guys $47,434, okay? But Berryville is worth in house value $1,509,145. So it's actually very, very expensive. Um, probably more so with all the decorations I've gone around because I did kind of go full and out with all of these. But I think I'll give you guys a little tour of my town because you guys always want to see a tour. So at least with this, I can give you guys a full tour. Right, so when you first come to Berryville, you are met by Berry Preschool. So when we head inside to Berry Preschool, all the magic doors open. We have the reception area. We have where the awards are. Different color ceilings. I went for a very like colorful school. And then we have the toilets both on this side, so your kids can come over. Buddy's gonna have to come here one day when he's a bit older. We have the art room. Then to the right we have the canteen, which is followed by the employees only kitchen, so where staff go. And then we also have the little play area, which is even Halloween themed too, so lots more to like try and take down all these decorations. But I really like the chalkboard that I made on this side. That's one of the things I'm really happy with. And then when we head upstairs, this is more where the classrooms are. So this is more like the playroom that they have where you can play dress up and more where they take breaks. And then the other room would more so be where they do learning, whether they're learning the alphabet or just simple um, adding, like multiplication then yeah, that's kind of what they do in here. So very simple, but I think it's very cute and very sweet for taking like young children too, so I'm happy. And then moving away from the preschool, we then go down this side. Oh, the laundromat was also in my first um, build creation. The laundromat and the Berry's Beauty Parlor. And I think I also had a diner. Those are the three things I had at my little street. But the laundromat is one of the first things I think I ever created. And I remember when it came out, it's like, oh, it was such a big thing. Like, it was one of the things I quickly jumped on. It was the first ever update that I wanted to quickly get up out there. So I remember they had like a laundry update on Bloxburg. And I was so excited. I was 10 amp, like, I'm going to quickly create like a laundromat. It's going to be so cool. And I did, and I was so happy with it. I made it very like retro themed, quite 70s. And I've still kind of kept it even with this. So coming here gives me a lot of nostalgia and kind of like deja vu because obviously I had this as one of my first builds in Bloxburg. But yeah, I love how pretty and colourful everything is. I've gone for like blues, pinks, yellows. The flooring is really cute. But yeah, I love the laundromat. I think it's one of the things I could never really get rid of because I've just always had it. But that is the laundromat in there. And then next door to that we have sweet treats. Well, Feebury sweet treats. They're my own little bakery. And I've also got Halloween themed in here. All the cakes being around. But this is a really cute little like kind of retro shop too. I've also kind of kept with the 70s theme by doing the flooring like so. But yeah, I like this little um, bakery. I think it's super cute. And I'm very happy that I added this. And next door today, we also have the other OG, which is Berry's Beauty Parlor. And I remember being very happy creating this decal. It was like one of the first kind of like big decals I created. So if we head inside, we just have a kind of salon. I've gone for a very pink theme. I wanted it to also kind of be in the theme. I think this street's very like 70s themed, but this reminds me a lot of the film. Ah, oh, Legally Blonde. I had to search up what the film was called, but yes, this reminds me a lot of Legally Blonde for some reason, and I really like this. I'm very happy with my salon. Come here to get my hair done a couple of times. Buddy hasn't got hair at the moment, but when he does, he will also be coming here. And then just around the corner, we also have Berry Dental. So this is the dentist where I come over, get your daily checkups. We have a little bathroom, usually a little washroom. So like when you, after you've gone to the dentist, you kind of just wash out some of the products that they put into your mouth. But well, this is a little dentist room so where the dentist will come in, check your mouth, maybe do an x-ray or even do an extraction of the teeth. We're not too sure. But yeah, that is the dentist area. And then just behind the school, we also have the playground, which is very, very colourful. Someone said it was a bit too colourful. I know my town's colourful anyway, but if you guys think it's a bit too colourful, then I can change it. I might just make it into grass, but you guys can let me know that. I like the colours because it does go with Halloween, so I might queue it for Christmas and kind of just change the colour scheme to more Christmas themed. But we can make our way past through the park and this will take us to the other side of the street which is Ambry Coffee. So Ambry Coffee, I made Amber actually add this into my town and I've made it Halloween themed of course. Well, there's loads of cup of teas here and coffees. I'm going to take loads of these. They're probably like ice cold and iced coffee. 
But yeah, I have Ambry Coffee in my town. And I used to have apartments up here, but I just kind of delete them because I feel like it wasn't really like a big thing. I wasn't really using it as much, but I might actually try and add them at some point because I do want to kind of like upgrade my town and change it a bit more. And then next door to this, we have the flower shop, which I added once they had the update of adding all the new flowers. And I told a lot of people that they can use, they can take all the flowers. So most flowers have gone because I was giving it to some people to use. But put a little parrot in here, look how cute. In a flower shop that I live quite close to, they have a parrot in there and I love going in there to see it. So I thought I'd also add that in here and then next door to the flower shop we also have the pharmacy and health clinic so it's just more just where you go to get some medication or you can actually go upstairs and you can go and see the doctors so yeah I put this little area in here in case you get a cold especially because it's getting to that time of the season so I thought I'd add a doctor and then moving away from the shops the preschool and the park we can then head towards more of the houses I have decorated all the houses I had some help from friends before because decorating it I wanted to be in different styles but some are very simplistic like this one's very simple there's not really much to it I probably should actually decorate it more in detail but I just kind of gone for the necessities that you'd kind of need in houses but I think it's kind of cute and if you guys can live here of course if you ever join my game and then next door so this one is my neighbor <gasps> and the door is open and there's a bloody handprint that'd be very creepy if it wasn't Halloween even though Halloween is actually over so I guess it is kind of creepy but, oh there's some cookies in here hopefully my neighbor won't mind if I just have a little snack but this one's actually been decorated really nicely yeah, and then also in this one, there's a secret little like basement. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, but one of my friends created almost like a noob shrine. So this was added in here, but I actually kind of like it. So I always kept it. And then lastly, we can come to my house. So this is my house in the town. And this is what everything looks like. Oops, I just turned the lights off so you can't actually see what everything looks like. But this is still Halloween decorated. Please remind me to get rid of this Halloween decorations. It may take me five hours, but they all need to go. But this is what I've done for my house. Pretty simple, nothing really else to it. The only um, thing I have in here, which I can show you guys later, I want to show you guys my pet shop, is Sammy the Snake. So I'm quite excited to go back to the pet shop. There are some plots I haven't actually clicked on in a while. Like, I haven't seen concert in a while. I go on Berryville quite a lot. But I'm quite excited to see what some of the other plots look like. Okay, and then next up we have my police station, which I haven't been to in such a long time. I want to start getting back to like my police role plays because I do actually miss this. And like it says on here, I need to try and protect and serve Bloxburg. So this is my police station, and my house value for this is 872,790. So it is like a police station slash prison because I do have a prison downstairs. But this is what it all looks like. I even made some of the new decals. Oh, I can change my hair now. I can actually look better for photographs. This is what the outside of my police station looks like. I remember also making kind of like the badge sign up top, which I was really proud of. But we can now head inside so I can show you guys what everything looks like. So the doors are also automatic, so you can come in here, quickly say your emergency. I've also placed cameras around a lot. And this is more like the waiting room where you'd have to wait. <gasps> Somebody's decals, why are they not on there anymore? What? Where's all my decals gone? But anyway, if you go through this door, this is more where they do some of the interrogation, which is more where they question you. So you'd sit here, you'd have two detectives there, and you'd have the head, like, police right there watching, making sure, observing that everything's going smoothly. And yeah, and I'd, I'd be too scared at police stations. I'm very happy that I think I'm quite good, and I've never stole anything, so <laughs> I'd be too terrified to do that. And then the next room is where you might have been convicted for the crime. So you'd stand here, they'd measure you, take the photograph. Poor Buddy is probably being arrested right now, but because he's attached to me, I have to go with him. And then I think we also have a little secret room down here. And this is more, oh, this is the camera room where I'm, I'm watching Pizza Planet. <laughs> so I'd like CCTV all the way over here. And I'm monitoring Pizza Planet, especially because there's loads of people that steal pizza over there. So we always have to monitor those. And then these are just kind of like the back entrances so we can stay near the police chief and see what they're talking about. And then in here we also have the courtroom and I'm also a judge here too. So this is more if you come here and then you will have a court and then they'll decide whether you are guilty or innocent. And yeah, I'd also be the judge here. And then this is also the judge's little room where they can come over, have their breaks and kind of serve whatever the sentence is going to be. And then I think also down this corridor, which I didn't go to, there's also an upstairs and that kind of leads to the office where the police officers will be doing most of their work. So they have the staff room in here 
and then opposite they just have the office workers and then there's also like shrines of me everywhere but i'm very vain aren't i i just put myself everywhere in these but yeah this is where some of the office workers will be and then this is my own private office this is where i sit down even got a picture of poppy and i right there <laughs> but yeah this is what the police station side is like and then if we head to the opposite side of the corridor, that is where the prison is actually held. So if you go to the court, so basically you can have like a whole schedule here to come in, you'd be in the waiting room, you'd then be convicted or like interrogated, you then get your picture taken, then I guess you go to the courtroom, and then you'd come downstairs to the prison. So this is more where you are kind of like stationed, so you have your own little rooms in here, you have a bunk bed and then a desk underneath, a toilet, a sink, just everything that's kind of like in these rooms. And then I think we have a door down here. We have a guard that watches, of course. And then this is more where the prisons are, where you have the canteen area. You also have like the shower rooms where you can make the phone calls. This is like the isolation room. So if you come here, if you're being naughty, you have cameras that watch you too. And then we also have an art room because I thought they would help some people that are in prison to calm down. And oh, this is some drawings that some people are doing. Oh wow, they, they're clearly not calming down some of these paintings, are they? And then out the outside, we also just have their like garden, their backyard area where they can do some gardening, some things that will kind of like relieve the stress. They can play football, they can play basketball, and they have some guards. And then we have a watchtower up here too. Oh, but the one thing I love about the police station that I created is that you can also have an escape route here. So I think it's in one of the cells. I feel like I remember. This is making me really like test my memory right now. But I think it's either the second door like right here that I think has an escape room or is the first, let's see. Is it this one? Oh, okay, no, that's embarrassing. Must be the first one then. <gasps> yes, it is, it's the first one, look. And then this one has like an underground tunnel and it leads you to escape from the prison. Look, I can even see the way out, I can see some daylight. Wait, no, it's not. There's another turn, oh. Okay, maybe this one will be daylight then. Yes, I think it is, I can see your ladders. Okay, so you, you then go up these ladders and then we have surely escaped from the prison. Oh, oh no, it kind of shows that it's green. I should probably change the color. And then basically you can come over here, maybe steal a cop car and just get out of here basically. But this is my police station. I'm actually very happy with this. I feel like I should definitely use this more. This like whole video is just reminding me that I need to use some of these plots a lot more. Okay, and then now we have my pet shop, which is a pet shop, a vet surgery and pet grooming place. And this is at the house value of 422,957. Now this is actually quite a special build for me because I created this when I hit 100k subscribers and I did my first face reveal. So I was very, very nervous to do this, but now I'm actually closer to 100k. So it's crazy to think that one, like 100,000 subscribers later, and I'm now revisiting where I first did my 100,000 like K sub special. So this is really cute to go back to, but I was really proud of making this. Amber helped me a lot with making some of the pets in this. Um, some of the decals are not working in some of these. It's weird going back and seeing that some of them aren't, but it's very interesting to see how I created some of these. I wonder if I could use some of the new updates they have now to create some new things, but oh my gosh, is it bright in here? I forgot that the lighting would change everything. But this is more at the vet surgery place where you'd come in here and some of your pets would be having surgery if they're ill. I think the best part about the pet shop is obviously some of the pets I created. So in here we just have kind of like some bunnies and some rabbits. And then there are some more crazy ones I created like these little tortoises or turtles that I think are really cute. We then have a lizard, a chameleon I think it is. Yes, that is right. We then have a tarantula. And then on this side, we have a bird, the parrot, that's in a flower shop, that's probably where they bought it from. And then we also have another little parrot, look at this little guy, so cute. And then on here, we have the hedgehogs. I was so happy when I made this. <laughs> this is still something that I really like. I feel like I, could, I should add a hedgehog somewhere in here. But I like the little wheel that I created here by creating um, the statue. And then I put a clock there, so it kind of looks like a spinning wheel that some of the hedgehogs would use. And then we also created some snakes, which is what Amber created. She actually helped me create this. So it was really cool, like kind of making this with Amber. She helped me a lot with making some of these. And then we have the groom room, which is where you'd bring some of your animals and they'd get their hair trimmed or maybe just have a pamper day like these dogs in the photographs. And then on this side is more where the fish are. So we have some turtles, we have like different fish, we have blobfish, still hasn't been sold yet. Very, very sad. We have some lobsters, that must have been when the food update came out. 
and just some more fish. Oh, and a watermelon in there. I think it was supposed to be a puffer fish, but it is just a watermelon and a starfish. Oh, and on this side is where I created the rats. This is where Olive like got her pet from too. Look, so cute. But yeah, I love the pet shop. It's one thing that I just could not delete. Yeah, I'd always keep this, I think. And then next up we have a donut shop which I created when the food update came out because I saw like when you get the little hints there's going to be types of food I saw there were donuts in his inventory the creator of Bloxburg so I quickly went on and I made a donut shop and I was really excited about this but I never even used it really like I used it once but I haven't really been back here since and I probably should but look all of the donuts have been sold out every time I go to put them on the shelf somebody just comes over and steals them but I like this little shop, I thought it was super cute. Maybe I can even change it so it's not just a donut shop, but it can also just be like a little bakery. I think it'd be a nice shop to go to. But I like all the don um all the donuts I created. I like those too. But I like all the decals I created too because I made I made my own little logo, donuts. Best very best donuts. And you get two donuts and one drink for five dollars, which is our best deal as you guys can see on there. Yeah, this is a donut shop so I've got the logo at the back and then if you come at the back over here we've got food hygiene rating and this is just more the kitchen oh we also have a drive through in here which I thought was really cool so you go to the first area which is where you kind of um, order what you want the second area is where you pay and the third area is where you collect your donuts so that is it and then this is obviously where you create the donuts so this is a shop that I actually haven't used you guys can let me know if I should delete this or not because I feel like I won't really be using it and I probably could deal with the money because the house value for this is two hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred and fifty four and I'm kind of broke right now so that would actually help a lot Okay, and then next up we have the Berry Bake Off, which is like basically based this build on the Great British Bake Off when um, the food like update came out again because I wanted to make all the new foods and try and get to level 10. So the house value for this one is 117,203. And I also did the gardening update on here too, which is where I collected some of the, I made my own fruits and vegetables and then used it to make my own food. So I put some of the gardening updates out here, but inside I think it looks a lot like it, actually. Look, the Great Bloxburg Bacon Show. I think it looks kind of cool. We've got food placed everywhere, and yeah, this is kind of a cool place to go to if we're doing challenges, like a food challenge. But I think I might keep this just because I think it is very colourful and I do like it. It goes with my theme a lot. But maybe I could even do some different challenges here. It wouldn't even have to really just be food. I could even just do different challenges. It could be like an art show I could do in here. It's little things I can create that could be quite different, but I can still use this build. Okay, and then next up we have the haunted house, which I created not too long ago. And I've still got to do a video on, so I will do that when Bridget and Amber get back from their holiday. But this is, the house value for this one is 564,690. But I'm very excited to do the murder mystery video here. I'm just kind of planning, I want it to be a good video so I want to put like a lot of effort into it. But this is the Chenny's Manor House and it's basically just like a spooky house. And I was going to do it for Halloween but I reckon that murder mystery doesn't exactly have to be Halloween themed. It's just kind of like a spooky mystery video so I thought I could do it anytime and I'd rather put some more effort into it. It, but this is where I place on the decals. Oh, look, now I finally have my brand new hair. It's like going from the police station where I have the other hair to going to this one where I have the different hair. It's funny seeing like the improvement in that. But this is where the dead body is, the dead new body, which we will be discovering who killed Mr. Noob. So that'll be coming soon. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And yeah, that should be with us shortly. And then lastly, we finally have my family house, which my sister Chelsea created for me. I basically just gave on to create my house. So I had Amber create my first house, and then I had Chelsea create my second house. So who knows who's going to create my third house? Could even be my mum. But this is what my family house looks like. I've got rid of all of the decorations, so it's gone back to being just a normal, simple family house. But I do really love this house. It's, it reminds me of a lot of like the English like country homes. So I do really like this. And yeah, everything's pretty family. I even got Buddy's new room, if you guys haven't seen that video where I created his new bedroom. Well, also, I never used this, but look, I've got a little seat here on the stairs. I thought it would be good for Poppy if she has like time out. I just tell her, go sit on the stairs, please. But this is what everything looks like here. We've got Poppy's room in here, which is super cute. And then on the other side of the room, we then have Buddy's room. So yeah, I thought you guys have seen my house quite a lot. I have a house tour. If you guys did want to see this house, but I think that's basically it for all of my plots. So I hope you guys like it. It was actually very interesting doing it because 
I don't know, it makes me kind of want to keep more of my plots just because there seems to be a lot of nostalgia with them. Like I love going back and seeing the pet shop and the police station. So I think I might stop deleting some of my plots now and actually try keeping them a lot more. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys like to see and if I should actually start saving my plots or if there's some that I should delete. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!